Russian ultra patriots are panicking over the successful offensive of the Ukrainian armed forces in the Kursk region. They suspect that the Ukrainians are preparing a new unpleasant surprise for Russia. This opinion was expressed in particular by the security officer Igor Strelkov Girkin, who is in prison in the Russian Federation. His letter was published by his wife. In his letter, Strelkov wrote that he was closely monitoring the advancement of Ukrainian forces in the Kursk region. I consider the strike by the Ukrainians in the Kursk region to be a distraction. We should expect a second, the main one in which they will use their remaining reserves and aviation, the security officer wrote. He is sure that the main offensive of the Ukrainian armed forces will be towards occupied Crimea. Kremlin propagandist Alexander Kotz made a similar statement on August the 16th. There is a feeling that the Ukrainians will strike somewhere else. We have not yet seen the main forces of the enemy, wrote the Z War correspondent. He noted that in their offensive in the Kursk region, the Ukrainian armed forces are practically not using heavy equipment, in particular Leopard tanks as well as American F-16 fighters. They are being saved for something else, Kotz wrote. He also believes that the main strike of the Ukrainian armed forces is planned specifically towards Crimea. He announced massive strikes by the Ukrainian armed forces on the Crimean Bridge and Isthmus on the administrative border with the peninsula. We should expect an attempt to cut our group in the Kherson region and Zaporozhye and take control of the land corridor, the propagandist wrote. Recall Russian President Vladimir Putin called the Kursk incursion Ukraine's attempt to halt Russia's offensive in Donbass, claiming that the Kremlin's push has only increased instead and that its troops were still advancing across the front line. The enemy seeks to improve its negotiating position in the future. Putin said at a meeting with top defense officials dismissing any prospects of peace talks. Experts said more time is needed for the effects of Ukraine's incursion into Russia and the strikes on Crimea to be felt on the battlefield. But the recent incursion and attacks on Crimea highlight how Kyiv, outnumbered and outgunned by Moscow's larger army, is keen to break the enemy's ability to stretch Ukrainian forces by attacking from three sides, north, east and south. Ukrainian forces destroyed a bridge over the Syme River in the Glushkovsky district in Russia's Kursk Oblast. Photos and videos purporting to show the destroyed bridge were published by the Russian Telegram channels, which claimed the bridge had been struck multiple times. The footage was taken by Russians walking on the bridge. The strike was carried out by a HIMARS missile. According to the Russians, the bridge was hit four times before, and this is the fifth. As a result of the impact, the car on the bridge caught fire and its occupants died. About 30 settlements near the village of Glushkovo, approximately 150 kilometers from Kursk, have been cut off due to the attack. Air Force Commander Mikola Olshchuk posted later a video showing the attack on the Russian bridge. The insider reported that the Glushkovsky district has three bridges across the Syme River, with the other two located near the settlements of Zvano and Kuriz. Roman Aliokin, an advisor to Kursk Oblast's acting governor and a Russian pro-war blogger, also claimed that Ukrainian forces are targeting the bridge in Zvano, about 7 kilometers from Glushkovo, in an attempt to seize part of Kursk Oblast along the river. The Ukrainian armed forces have destroyed a bridge over the Syme River in the Glushkovsky district of Russia's Kursk region, Telegram channels reported on Friday. Part of the Glushkovsky district that includes Tyatkino, Popovo Lazachi, Volfino, and about 27 other settlements, is now cut off following the attack. According to reports, one of the bridge spans has been destroyed after a strike from Himars, High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, provided to Ukraine as part of military aid to Ukraine. Ukrainian troops are reportedly planning to seize the Glushkovsky district of the Kursk region. The evacuation of civilians is possible only by water. Roman Alakin, advisor to the acting governor of the Kursk region, has confirmed reports about the destruction of the bridge. It should be noted that in the Glushkovsky district of the region, logistic supplies for Russian troops are transported through the only road passing through this bridge. The destruction of the bridge is believed to significantly worsen the logistics of Russian troops in this area. According to local residents, Ukrainian troops have also attacked a bridge in the village of Zvanoy. 
Meanwhile, according to some reports, 700 Russian soldiers have been encircled in the area.